Let's talk about a dining experience that's literally life and death. Eating Toro Fugu, also known as puffer fish or blowfish. What's so special about this fish that can puff up and potentially poison you worse than cyanide? You might want to be curious about the fish that requires a license to prepare and carries through toxin to kill 30 people. Stay tuned, there's much more to learn about the perilous art of fugu. Serving up smiles one dish at a time. Food is thy mood is now live. Hey, booty foodies! Grab a seat and a snack, but not just any snack. We're talking about the ultimate culinary dare. The fish is not only a highly sought after dish in Japan, but also one that could potentially end your life if not prepared correctly. Intrigued? Let's dive deeper into what makes Torofugu so unique and dangerous. Puffer fish, or as the Japanese call it, fugu, is a type of fish that's well known for its ability to puff up into a spiky ball as a defense mechanism against predators. Despite its defensive strategy, fugu is a popular food in Japan, with around 10,000 tons consumed annually. The most coveted variety is the tiger fugu. However, not all fugu is safe to eat. If ingested, would you have time to make it to the hospital? Out of the 120 species found in Japanese waters, only 22 are deemed edible. The danger lies in their organs, the ovaries, eyes, intestines, and liver, which contain tetrodotoxin or TTX, a substance far deadlier than cyanide. To put it into perspective, just a single fugu can harbor enough toxin to kill 30 people. TTX attacks the nervous system, leading to symptoms like numbness, nausea, paralysis, and eventually death by suffocation, all potentially within 20 minutes of ingestion. The fish themselves are not born with this toxin. Instead, they accumulate it over time from their diet which includes shellfish and invertebrates that carry TTX-producing bacteria. Despite this, the fish are unaffected by the toxin. What makes the tiger fugu the most sought-after variety? And how do chefs navigate the fine line between delicacy and danger? Surviving a fugu meal requires meticulous preparation by highly trained chefs. The fish must be caught fresh and handled carefully to ensure that none of the toxic parts contaminate the edible portions. Some restaurants even airlift their fugu to ensure freshness. How do chefs train for years to master the art of fugu preparation? And what does this rigorous process entail? Chefs undergo two years of training to obtain a license to prepare fugu, using a specific thin knife designed for this purpose. Even with all these precautions, there have been close calls like in 2018 when a supermarket mistakenly sold fugu with toxic livers, prompting a citywide alert through a missile warning system. Despite the risks, fugu has been a part of Japanese cuisine for centuries, dating back to the Jomon period or around 14,000 to 300 BCE. Its popularity surged in 1888 when former Prime Minister Prince Ito Hirobumi endorsed it, leading to a statue and plaque commemorating the event. Today, strict regulations and the Tokyo Fugu Cooking Alliance help minimize poisoning incidents, making deaths rare. There's even farm-raised tetrodotoxin-free fugu available, offering a safer dining option. Yet, the allure of wild-caught fugu remains, with its unique umami flavor and the thrill of danger it brings to the table. Tetrodotoxin, or TDX, the deadly neurotoxin in fugu, has captured scientific interest for its unique nerve-blocking properties that don't harm cells. Research is underway to harness TTX as a potent anesthetic and a chronic pain reliever, aiming to sidestep the drawbacks of traditional drugs. This shift from lethal to therapeutic underscores the intriguing medical potential of natural toxins, highlighting the fine line between poison and remedy that nature so often presents. But how do chefs and diners navigate the fine line between the culinary allure and the fatal risks of fugu? What do these cultural depictions tell us about society's relationship 
with the risk and the lengths to which we go for culinary excitement. Fugu occupies a unique place in Japanese culture, symbolizing both the beauty and peril of nature. It has been depicted in various art forms, from ancient pottery to contemporary media, reflecting its significance in Japanese heritage. Literature and films often explore the themes of risk and survival associated with fugu consumption, mirroring societal fascinations with the fish. Moreover, festivals and culinary events celebrate fugu, showcasing preparation techniques and honoring the skill required to safely present this dish. The cultural portrayal of fugu extends beyond Japan, appearing in global media as a symbol of exotic culinary adventure. This representation of fugu in culture and art highlights its role as more than a mere dish. It's a testament to human curiosity, the pursuit of excellence, and the complex relationship between humans and the natural world. Have you seen puffer fish in your supermarkets or restaurants yet? The global trade and regulation of fugu, the Japanese puffer fish known for its lethal potential and gastronomic value, present a complex web of challenges and precautions. Despite its dangers, fugu has found a market outside Japan, driven by culinary enthusiasts eager to experience its unique flavor and thrill. But what happens when fugu leaves the shores of Japan? How do countries and chefs around the world navigate the intricate dance of danger and delicacy inherent in serving this potentially deadly fish? The international trade of fugu is tightly controlled to ensure public safety. Importing countries enforce strict guidelines for handling and preparation, requiring chefs to undergo extensive training and certification similar to Japan's rigorous standards. This is to skillfully excise the toxic sections and reduce poisoning risks. Only select fugu species are permitted for export, underscoring the careful scrutiny of this trade. Such meticulous global regulation honors the culinary practices while prioritizing consumer protection, demonstrating the worldwide commitment to responsibly indulge in this hazardous but intriguing gastronomic experience. Fugu isn't just food. It's an adventure, a test of fortune, and for some, a delicious challenge worth the risk. Would you dare to dine on fugu, the deadly delight? If you enjoy this special preparation of Japanese cuisine, check out our video of olive wagyu. And no, it's not just rubbing olive oil on a steak. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell button for more gourmet adventures. Thanks for swimming with us in the deep end of culinary curiosities. Until next time, keep your plates daring and your forks ready for the plunge.